Hello everyone! My name is Serafi, and I'm happy to meet you all. And I wasn't planning on doing a video for the Banlist update in a podcast form, but if I didn't, that would rob you all of the chance to hear the immense salt that Kevin's been having since Cyber Dragon did not get off the ban list this time. And since he's not posting in the Cybernetic Embassy anymore, uh, we want to make sure that Kevin has a chance to tell all of you what he thinks about this ban list. Uh, Kevin, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. In addition to Kevin, we have Duke. That's me. We have Crow. Howdy, howdy. And we have Goldmine. Hello, everybody. And before we get into the ban list uh, reactions, let's talk about the ban list itself. So we have Chaos Form limited to one. We have Ninaruru, the Magistus Last Goddess, limited to one. These cards will now conflict with each other in the Magistus version of BLS. Vessel for the Dragon Cycle is limited to two. This will have an impact on the Tenny list slightly. Uh, Envoy of the Beginning and Endymion, the Magistus of Magistry, both limit three. Uh, we'll have to see how this impacts the Magistus version of Blackluster Soldier. Orcus Nightmare, now limit three. Uh, this is going to be a heavy hit to pure Orcus, but a not uh, kind of a neutral change for Gand Orcus, which is the only version of Orcus that's really relevant right now. Jet Synchron is unlimited. Now you can play Jet Synchron with Mind Control. That's really good. Triple D or Double D Swirl Slime is unlimited, so DDD players rejoice. Melody is unlimited literally two minutes after I hit King of Games. Thank you, Konami. Uh, Petting Sasora is now unlimited. This will be a big point of con uh, discussion today, uh, along with the Phantom Knight's Rank of Magic launch, Neo's Fusion, and Witchcrafter Holiday. Okay, so we'll leave the unlimits up for right now. Uh, Kevin. What do you think about this ban list? I was immensely... Um, I'm going to say I've been waiting for this ban list specifically because I thought it was long overdue for Cyber Dragons to come off the ban list. It's been a thousand and two hundred days that Cybernetic Overflow has been put on the ban list and has been untouched Cyber Dragons got their main skill, Cyber Style, demolished. It is literally unplayable. And we got a substitute skill in one called Cyber Style EX. And that one makes it so that you get a power bond at the bottom of your deck and a Cyber Emergency into your deck. All cool. Now, you can also make your monsters level 5. You can go into Nova Plays or Rank 5 uh, Machine Plays. That's fine, but we don't have anything to do beyond Nova. Our main defensive play is Cybernetic Overflow, which is at 2, along with Cyberload Fusion. That's also at 2. Now, I can understand keeping both of those at 2, or even an argument to banning one of them if we had the original Cyber Style. However, we don't. There's no reason for Cybernetic Overflow and Cyberload Fusion, much less, to still be on the list, especially when we have had other decks like Tenji, the new BLS deck, Gandora, which just banishes everything, <laughs> and a lot of other cards like Mech Knight. Not, is it Mech Knights? Am I right? It's, yeah, it's Mech Knights, right? Mech Knights are a deck. Yeah. Yes, like Mech Knights that negate the whole board. So I was thinking, this is it. This is the ban list where Cyber Dragons are free. I'm going to be able to come back to the, to the Reddit. I'm going to be able to make videos. I'm going to have fun. We got the ban list. I get notified about it on Discord. I log into Dual Links. I look at the ban list. I'm so excited. I'm looking at the hits. I'm like, okay, none of this matters to me. I get to the unlimited cards. I see Jet Synchron. I rejoice because Synchrons were unjustly hit. So I'm happy. DD Swirl Slime. I'm like, yes, this certainly means Cyber Dragons are off the list. Melody of Awakening Dragon. This totally means Cyber Dragons are off the list. Petting Sasaur. Phantom Knight's Rake Up Magic, and Neo's Fusion. I was so happy because Cyber Dragons were finally coming off the list now that Neo's Fusion was off. 
I got to Witchcrafter Holiday, and the list is done. To say my rage was a burning building is an understatement. I went straight to the Discord, and I started ranting. And then I logged off, and I started ranting to myself. I was psychotic for a few days. I looked on Reddit, and everyone was talking about Cyber Dragon. Post here, post there. Cyber Dragon still hits. But Neo's Fusion gets off the list. The Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic gets off the list. Both of these just getting support recently. Melody gets off the list to promote their new Blue Eyes deck. Didi's get off the list. And they were meta not too long ago. And Synchrons get off the list, which I'm not going to hate on them because they're fire. What, what did Cyber Dragons do that they can't get off the list at this point? I don't understand it. And I'm pissed off. And this is why I haven't returned to Duel Links for a minute, and I'm not going to return to Duel Links until Cyber Dragons get off the list. Thank you very much for listening. I am very sorry. <laughs> that was extremely traumatic. I understand why you, why you uh, write Transformer episodes now. Um, okay, uh, so... In particular, I am shocked at Medulce Petting Sasaur, which was released as a Limit 1 card, then got moved to a Limit 2 card, and then got unlimited, all in the span of Cyber Dragons being completely <laughs> limited. So, I don't know what Konami is doing here. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I will say that uh, Cyber Dragons did get... Um, Chronomaly v Mana, at the very least. So they, they did get a little bit of support. But, um, yeah, this is uh, this is shocking to me, definitely. Um, Crow, how about you? What are your thoughts? Blackwings got back before Cyber Dragons? How the fuck did they get to that? Black That's Wings what I'm back. saying! How does that <laughs> happen? <laughs> what the fuck? The fucking pops a monster and negates its effect, and gets you out Blackwing Dragon. And it's just like, that got unlimited, plus Rakiri and Orochi and everything else. Like, obviously right now, Blackwings aren't good. It's not like Cyber Dragons are in a better state, though, if they got unbanned. The only thing I can say, and the only thing that I can think why Konami is even keeping them on the list is because when we were at full power cyber style, the deck was most pro. I, I will just say it right now: the deck was the most toxic deck you could face, and it got complaints left and right. I think Konami is just making sure that it's dead before they release support, so that people don't have the right to complain. That's yeah. the only thing I'm thinking. But it's been a thousand and two hundred days been over three years i can't take it anymore that's what like almost four years it, it is and cyber darks haven't gotten anything it is almost four years cyber dark realm is or cyber dark inferno is still not in the game um even though the npc has had it the entire time um and then uh, uh maybe konami just secretly thinks that uh that Nova, they, they released, uh, instead of Nova, they accidentally released Infinity. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> so they're like, oh, well, we can't unpan the deck with Infinity. Yeah, blah, blah. It's possible. The, I'm just, I'm praying that the skill gets reworked or that we get original Cyber Style back. Because I, I think at least in this meta, it's, you can deal with it in this meta. It's, it's slow at this point. But yeah. then we'd go back to the, uh, you know, 15 trap version of Cyber Style. We do have Future Fusion, which uh, does make the original version of Cyber Dragons a little scary in Duel Links, because you can stall that long. Future Fusion? What do you mean? You can play Future Fusion and send all three of your Cyber uh, Cyber Dragons to the graveyard and get your uh, Cyber End, like, next turn. 
Oh no, a Dragon cyber Ray. head dragon in all the yeah. know, 4K attack and no relevant effects. It's got pure No, future Future Fusion's extremely Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah Future yeah. Fusion's broken, guys. Cyber and Dragon, let's go, <laughs> baby! Yeah, we got fucking chaos facts running around right now. Hey man, <laughs> hey man. I'm just saying. There there are there are gotta be some reasons why this is happening, but you're right. It, it is a little absurd. Um, Six Samurais got unlimited. Karakuri got unlimited. Both of those decks were uh, caused a lot of stir when they were around. Six Sam, Six Sam still is the deck that you see every KC Cup. Mm -hmm. Cyber Angel, Amazonas, everything else. Yep. All right, let's uh, well, let's let let's let someone else talk. So, uh, uh, go ahead, Duke. I mean, I agree. I think it has been much long overdue, and I cannot fathom why Konami has just treated Cyber Dragons this way. They can definitely come back. Okay. They they should be able to. It's been way too long. All right. Well. Well. So. So Kevin Kevin has had his chance to speak. So. Uh, I'll, I, you know, we can move forward. You know, we we've made our point. So, what do you think about the ban list overall, Duke? I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I will say, I am triggered by some decks, namely Synchrons and the Witchcrafter one at the end gave me some PTSD. But I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pretty healthy. Like, I don't think it's gonna do anything insane. The one thing that I did realize, and I only realized this thanks to someone on Discord saying it, is now that Neos Fusion is unlimited, uh, you can do some jank with um, milling the Luna Lake Crimson Fox off of Neos Fusion. So that might be something interesting to look out for. Other than that, like I like DDDs, so I'm glad that Swirl Slime is going off. Uh, just overall, pretty good. All right, thank you. Uh, Crow, have you got anything that you want to say about the ban list in uh, in general? I like Witchcrafters. They're a fun deck. They didn't need to be unlimited for so long, but I also understand Konami's hesitance. Uh, they've uh, worked well as an engine, but they're just they're too slow nowadays. Mm. Uh, the uh, Smug Lolly, I forget her name. She uh, she's not as big of a threat nowadays. Like one negate isn't really, you know, yeah. Uh, it's it's the entire board though. It's it's every I think it's every monster is negated. Yeah, but like it's only once per turn. Yeah. Like, and you want to hit their combo starters, which really uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Goldmine, what do you think about the ban list? All right. This this really did not go as bad. Well, I well, what I'm trying to say is, I think this. This balance hit BLS harder than I originally predicted, but I think it's good. It lowers down the power level of Black Luster Soldier down to where it needs, so it's not just tier one anymore. Yeah, rip, it, uh, rip Duke's uh, live twin deck though. <laughs> oh, true. Keep going, it's fine. I think the Tinny hit is fine. Like it was never gonna just die. Like any hit they would have done wasn't gonna be enough to to fully keep it out of the meta unless they just hit every card. So I think the tinny hit is fine. All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. So uh, I guess it's back to me then. Um, the biggest change that I'm worried about is definitely Neos Fusion. I think that I think that Konami was correct to release Kluger as a limit three card, but I thought they were releasing it as a limit three card so that it would compete with Neos Fusion. Um, now they're taking Neos Fusion off, it's just like, okay, well, first of all, this means that the original Invoke deck is basically completely unlimited. Now you can play Neos Invoked again without any issues at all. Um, but then the other thing is, uh, you can play three Fusions and, like, two Klugers and one Crackdown or something like that, right? Like, Neos Fusion is... It does have some bad interactions with Kluger because it turns Kluger's float effect off the turn that it's summoned. But Kluger is not only is Kluger a very powerful card, but putting both Neos and Ubel from your deck in the graveyard 
enables the miracle contact that you draw later off of skill to Im immediately have targets. So Neos Fusion is just one of the most dangerous cards. And really, um, in terms of like cards in the game that are not properly rated, like Neos Fusion should 100% be a UR. I know that it's from a uh, like a structure deck, so it doesn't really matter. But seriously, like <laughs> this card is insane. Um, so maybe when they re when they announce the skill changes, they'll also announce that they're nerfing the burn on Kluger. But if or not Kluger, uh, Ubella and uh, Wiseman. But if they don't nerf the burn and they keep the Neos Fusion Unlimit, then they're basically encouraging this really this deck that feels unfair at this point. It, it genuinely does feel unfair at this point to face cards that have full burn because all the other cards have half burn. That definitely is true. Yeah. Uh, People just don't like burn strategies in general. I don't think it doesn't really feel very interactive most of the time. Yeah, and I don't, I don't have a problem with burn in general. But if you're going to nerf some cards and not others, then it feels just unequal, and that's not a great feeling to have when you're playing. Like, what, what about Time Lord players, right? Like, Time Lord players come out and they're like, "Oh, cool, I can um, burn you for a thousand with Sandion." You know, it could be two thousand if you had eight thousand life points, but it's only a thousand. That's fine, you know, right? And then your Neos Kluger attacks into Sandion and burns you for, or not Neos Kluger, your Ubel attacks into Sandion and burns you for 4,000. Like, and you're just like, oh, well, I guess I'm dead. You know, and does that, how does that feel? Like, it's, it's, whether it's balanced or not is irrelevant. It just, it's it just feels not, bad. yeah, it's not, that's, it's not fair. That's why you play Metaion instead. Metion still, Metion still got uh, nerfed. It's it's only 150. Yeah, no, but do I don't think people really play the 4K outside of like one copy, right? <laughs> We're not talking about Time Lords as an actual deck. I'm just making a point. <laughs> all right, he was about to hop on and talk about Time Lords. Right, I had to stop him. He was, he was about to start ranting again. <laughs> it's his second favorite deck. <laughs> uh. Anyway, um, okay, so uh, Duke, what do you think the implications for the meta will be with these changes? Um, that's a great question. I don't think Tenny is really that affected by it. I saw like a meme post on Reddit about someone just like taking one copy of the spell off and then using a different monster that isn't used right now, but it's like the next best option for them. Uh, BLS is definitely dying, which is fair enough. They they had this coming. Um, it'll be interesting to see Medalch, see more play, and PK is getting buffed. Yeah, I I saw that post too. It was it was really good. Um, the uh, Medolce Medolce still doesn't have Angeli, which which sucks, but um. It will be interesting to see how Medolce's play now that they have basically six starters. Is six starters enough? Some decks have made it okay with six starters, but even Live Twins runs more cards to make up for their lack of starters, so we'll have to see. Um, they can also be a bit more stally. They can, they're very efficient and compact as a deck, so they, uh, they can run more stall type cards. Yeah, but that's not it's not good. I don't want. I don't want more stall in the meta. I want less stall in the meta. Oh no 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 no! I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying that uh, that the deck can afford to do it, which makes it a little bit better at the very least. Okay. Did someone say stall? <laughs> time oh, no. lords. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kevin, you and but time lords came out. You thought they were gonna be better. <laughs> they, you know, they were. They were. They were close. Better. They were. They were. They yeah. were roguish. Mm -hmm. Um. Gold, do you have any ideas about whether the Melody Unlimit is going to affect Galaxy Eyes? I don't think it's going to affect Galaxy Eyes, but one thing it will affect is Thunder Dragons. Okay. As you know, Thunder Dragons have a lot of Unlimits. Like, 
Here, pull it up, pull it up. Dun look at how many unlimited I mean limits Dungeon Dragons had. Cyber Dragon. Ah, uh, the PTSD. So Thunder Dragon Dark used to be limited to three, and it's unlimited now. Um uh Aloof Lupine was limited to two and it's unlimited now. Um uh, Melody was limited to three and it's unlimited now. So the limits that uh, Thunder Dragons are currently dealing with is Leviathan is now limit three. Um, or Leviathan has been limit three. Uh, Envoy is now limit three. And then you also have um, Gold Sarcophagus, which is limit two. I think on top of Cyber Dragons, what they should do is, well, I'm not saying they should ease up on Envoy or Eleven Year, but I think they should ease up on Gold Sarcophagus. No, I absolutely disagree. I don't know. That oh, yeah. Has way yeah, let's, too much future potential. Break. And and let's not yeah. let's not encourage the structure deck locked box either. No, no, yeah, I I definitely disagree. Only because we have the the Lightsworn cards that can mill two that are also at two. And that really helps the the Thundra strategy out because you can just mill a lot and then special summon. Oh, Fair right. Enough. Um, that's right. Uh, so Crow and uh, and Kevin don't pay attention to the meta. So did you guys know that Gold Sarcophagus is seeing play again? Um, that doesn't surprise me. So uh, so what's what's going on, right? Gold Sarcophagus. For those of you that don't know, banish a card from your deck face up. So what people are doing with it is there is a skill called Lunalight Alleviation. Or not, no, sorry, Lunalite Resurgence. And Lunalite Resurgence says, select one of your banished Lunalite cards and return it to your deck or your graveyard once per duel. So they banish uh, Lunalite's Serenade Dance. And Lunalite's Serenade Dance uh, has a graveyard effect where you can banish it from your graveyard, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon any Lunalite monster from your deck. So they're basically using Gold Sarcophagus and the skill as a foolish burial goods. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yep, and as soon as we get Luna Light Perfume, which is probably going to be Selena's level thirty-three and level thirty, or sorry, level thirty-eight, and level forty reward. Uh, target one Luna Light monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can banish this card from your graveyard, discard a card, and add one Luna Light from your deck to your hand. So we'll have both Perfume and Serenade Dance that can be like used with Gold Sarcophagus to basically draw whatever you want or special summon whatever you want. So Perfume's a monster you born and a search. Nice. Uh, yes, it is. So let's see yeah, how on gold to coffee. That is, that is why perfume is the only little light card we do not have yet. <laughs> oh, we have everything else. Yeah, look, yeah. everything else has a rarity. Oh wow! Yeah. They they um they put Kaleida Chick and Tiger. Tiger is unlimited, by the way. Which is nuts because it's a non once for a non hard once for turn. Yep. The monster reborn. So yeah, so plus that plus Martin just lets you just mm -hmm. yeah. So Tiger, Tiger, and Kaleido Chick are in a special box that came out that only has fifty packs I in it. Did see that? So, I uh, I recommended my friend start building that because he started playing. So twenty five hundred gems to go through the entire box one time, and you can go through it three times with seventy five hundred. Get three copies of Tiger. Get three copies of Lunalight Light Kaleido Chick. Uh, crazy good. Okay. You can probably even do it with just two runs. You can, but I'm just, I'm just saying I'm just saying that it's a cheap access to a really good card. Uh, oh. Because Tiger is crazy good. Okay. Uh, Kevin, what are your thoughts on Jet Synchron being unlimited? I am so happy this thing's off the list. I think Konami definitely realized that they pushed the trigger on, on Synchrons way too fast. And it's been showing after every single ban list since then. We've been having pieces um, being moved around or unlimited in general. I think what 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 is left on the limit list from this deck? Uh, I don't think any. Oh, um, uh, the only card. Is it the search? No, the only card that's left on the limit from on the limits from this deck is um, Croc. Croc. Yep. So so they took out um, tuning. Tuning is now unlimited. Yeah, yeah, they definitely know they messed up on this. But this, I'm so excited. I'm going to start um, mind-controlling motherfuckers on the ladder. Mm -hmm. Eventually. I'm not logging back into Duel Links until Cyber Dragons get support. But eventually <laughs> I will. 
Better get your three One copies day. of Cyber Dragons now. <laughs> or not Cyber Dragons, uh, Mind Control. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, can, wait, can I just say something about PKs? Go right ahead. And they can now play reinforcements of the army. They yeah. can. They can also play Allure of Darkness. Yep. Oh, yeah. I forgot that card was out. <laughs> Yep, Allure of Darkness is out, and Black Wings have not gotten any better. <laughs> no, so, uh, I mean, we're better not because of Allure, of Allure though, uh, just because of the level 8 yep. that have been coming out, Void Ogre and uh, Berserker. Yeah. Yep. Uh, speaking that of which... Made their good deck. Don't build Black Wings, please, they're so expensive. That is that is a great... Look at, look at Crow leading me to my next topic. Uh, that is a great point. We have Void Ogre Dragon. We have Draco Berserker. So now let's talk about the cards that are not on this list. I don't see a single Cyber rocket Dragons. card on this list. Uh, you, you know what else I don't see on this list? Go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead, Kevin. Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons are not on this list. Anyway, there's no rockets what, on this list. Cyber Dragons go to two? <laughs> <laughs> Rockets are not on the list. Um, there is no change to quick launch. There's no uh, there's no competition between Void Ogre and Berserker, which is surprising considering that Berserker was released at limit one, so it wouldn't conflict with Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Um, uh, so, what are people's thoughts on rockets escaping the balance? Let's start with Goldmine. I definitely think this might lead to the skill nerf because they. I'm pretty sure they perform well in the Casey Cup. So if they really escape, escape this unscathed, I I don't know what to say. That is a good point. Let's take a look at the Casey Cup. Let's see. But let's look at it because like they Casey Cup top 100. We have uh. Odd eyes at 18.3%, VLS at 17.2%, Rockets at 12.9%, Live Twins at 10.8%, Gandorcus at 8.6%, Tenny at 6.5%, Cybers at 5.4%. Um, God, I cannot believe Odd eyes is still. <laughs> uh, Odd eyes is just a cheap and competitive deck that you can get without spending too much into the game. It is, but at the same time, it's like it's it's good enough that people can play it at a high level, right? Like people, mm -hmm. like they're like these people are winning against it, people that spend money in gems and resources. Um, I, I, will, I will play. What I will play devil's advocate that in I I don't feel like every deck you should have to grind for and be crazy and spend crazy amounts of money, time. And resources into it. That's why I think Odd Eyes is just a pretty, pretty cool balance of a deck. Now you could just hop in, decide you want to pick up Odd Eyes, spend maybe thirty bucks, maybe a little bit more if you want staples, and play competitively instead of spending hours and hours and days even grinding for a top deck. Those are my same thoughts for Rockets. Like they're a pretty cheap deck, and the staples just improve it. Okay, yes, but the difference between Rockets and Odd Eyes is that Rockets' skill lets them special summon two cards from their hand if they happen to have them. Odd Eyes draws you two cards. Pot of Greed. Yep. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so the top performing deck in the KC Cup was Salamangrates. Uh, I didn't expect Salamangrates to get hit. They just unhit them. So, um... This deck is still alive. I know it's still alive. It's ridiculous. It really, is. really, what they could do if they want to change Salamangrates, they should just what they should do is they should switch Circle and Debug. So they put Circle to three so that Salamangrates couldn't play Limit Three Traps, but they should really just put Circle to two and then put uh, Lady Debug to three, and then or or they could put um, Bailinks to three again. So they could put Circle to two and Bailinks to three, and then like. You still wouldn't be able to play limit three traps, but you'll have two circles instead of three. This is the same problem. I, I think, like, like circle is just such a toxic card. Good. I think. Sorry, I think the problem is dark hole. Dark hole is the problem for trick stars, not the problem for. How many, how many? How many decks play dark hole? Can we? Can we verify that real quick? Sure. Let's see. 
So we got one. So Dark Hole sees play in Trick Stars, Salaman Greats, uh, Utopia. <laughs> Charmers. No, bar barely, oh, barely in Utopia. Uh, no, no, Charmers, Charmers, fifty-eight percent zero. So let's let's hold on. Let's look. So not these, not these, because more people are not playing Dark Hole than than are. So it's basically um, Trick Stars are all playing it, and two thirds of Salaman Greats are playing it. I think, yeah, that's tough. And the Dark Hole is just such a crazy sack card. The only reason that uh, that Dark Hole sees play in these two decks specifically is because they can both protect against it. So Salamangrate has Bail Links, which stops you from being destroyed, and Trickstar has Festival, which stops you from being destroyed. That's the only reason yep. Dark Hole sees a lot of play in those decks, because you can make it a Raigeki. And now yeah, I will produce it with Needle Sailing, because these, cards can these decks can play in without facing the consequences. So, so the reason why needle sealing is different. I don't have a problem with dark hole, not a problem at all. Needle sealing is a trap, so you can use it on your opponent's turn. Dark hole is spell speed one, so I do think that needle sealing needs to be limited to three. It hasn't been. That sucks, but dark hole is fine. I don't have a problem. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Tenny. Just standard 10 E stuff. It's got limited. Uh, we'll see if that changes enough. Uh, the uh, Okay, here we go. So the uh, third ranking deck in the KC Cup, I was telling um, Arcady this, is a Summoner Monk Order of Chaos deck. And Kevin, the Order of Chaos skill lets you return up to two cards from your deck, uh, to your deck from your hand or monster zone. And then if there are no monsters on your field, you get an additional normal summon this turn, but you can only normal summon the Salamander. So that's like for the skill, but the reason what people are using this for, they'll return two cards from their hand to the deck since they have no cards left in their hand, and then they special summon Elemental Hero Bubble Man for, for a pot of greed. Van LP. Kevin, are you there? I'm here. Okay. I was <laughs> I was expecting a reaction. All right, that's fine. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't know because Summoner Monk is chilling. Mm -hmm. I don't like Bubble Man because he just looks weird. His art design is is uncanny to me. I absolutely love it. Bubble Man. I'm, I'm I'm throwing shade at Bubble Man. Whoever likes Bubble Man, y'all are weird. This Yo, is... but like Bubble Man's got like the bubbliest booty out of all the elemental heroes. <laughs> yo, that, is, yo, yo. that is not even true. That is ele we're not even gonna get into this. <laughs> okay. Yo, chat, chat, can we look at all the elemental hero butts, please? <laughs> chat. <laughs> can, we, like, can we do like a video where we just look at all their butts? Uh <laughs> we we will do that video when gold is not here. It has to be like a tier list type video. A, okay, a tier list? Okay, we will do a tier list of <laughs> elemental hero butts. Okay. Yes. Anyway, we need sharp for that. Uh, so okay. what's the win con though? Like what? Oh, the win con. Um, it is uh, uh, elemental. Sorry, uh, it is uh, ultimate Leo Utopia race. So the skill V Salamander, um, lets you revive Utopia when it's normal summon. It's so dumb. So. Oh, yeah. okay. So you, you normal summon it, and you get to reborn Utopia, and the skill lets you just put Utopia in your graveyard from outside your deck. Gotcha. So you normal summon V Salamander, you revive Utopia, you activate the skill's third effect, which lets you set rank up magic limited barrier force from your deck, and then you activate it to uh, play Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray, which lets you uh, grab e uh, Zexal Weapon Tornado Bringer from your deck, and that makes it so that it gains 1,300 attack points and has 4,800... 3,800 attack points, and it can't be targeted by card effects. And then, um, ultimately, a Utopia Ray has it once per turn, target a monster, cut its attack in half permanently, and negate its effects. Fun times. Yep. So that's the, uh, that's the win con. Um, let's see. S-Force, uh, Duke. You haven't talked to him yet. Based. Right. Uh, uh, a guy who I forget his name, Laplacian, or that's Math Mac. I don't know what I'm saying. He's a cool guy. Leaps. <laughs> uh, with Gravitino, it just banishes everything, which is awesome. Oh, I didn't so even I think right about away that. when we released that that it would be good. I didn't even think about that. I've just been thinking of Leapswell as a uh, Raigeki, but you're right. If you do have 
Pervertino out as well. It's a it's a banished Elite Starfield. Ugh. Um. Reinforced truth, really cool tech that they've been using. Yep, to special to summon Geomaru right Yep. Uh, pretty crazy. Um. Yeah. Uh, S Force Chase is basically just banish everything on your opponent's field, which is nuts. So, um, it's a pretty interesting deck. It's definitely gotten better with the release of Re Retroactive and Lapswell. So, we'll oh, see yeah. how this deck performs moving forward. And then we here we go. Rockets at five. Okay. All right. So this was what we were looking for. So the current version of Rockets. Triple Rocket Tracer, Triple Magna Rockets, one Silver Rockets, met two Metal Rockets, no, three Metal Rockets, uh, two Rapid Triggers, two Mystical Space Typhoons, three Book of Moons, three Quick Launches, one Boot Sector Launch, two IDPs, and a Warning Point for 24 cards total. Uh, extra Deck, Vorload, Furious, Draco Berserker, Void Ogre, Dark End, Evil Swarm Nightmare, Malevolent Sin, and Vorload and Booster. A booster just here so that you can target uh, Silver Rocket on turn one. Okay, Gold, what do you think? I don't think anything here is other than like quick launch, it's hittable. Well, I think they're going to hit the skill, like you said. Okay, but what do you think is going to happen with the skill? I think they're going to pull back the cost. I think they're going to make it force us to discard a card again. Yeah. That will probably ease up the uh, the double synchro that happens on turn one, but it means the problem with that, right, is the entire problem with this deck is that they want you to play Borlo Dragon, and Borlo Dragon is a link four, but if you spend four monsters to summon something, you could make two synchros or exceeses instead of one link four. So they need to do something with the skill to kind of like change things up because the way it is right now you just you either can't make vor load with the skill because they'll nerf it and make you discard a card and then the what's the point of the skill other than just playing the exceeds and synchros right or they they do nothing and then you just keep playing two exceeds and two synchros so uh, it's just it's It's mostly Rocket's fault because Rocket's doesn't really have like a good link to that they can climb with, um, and Triple Burst is good. Trip I'm not saying Triple Burst isn't good, but the problem is Triple Burst like gives you your your materials back, but um, the way that the field works, since we only have three zones. You have to go into at least one link two to make a link four, and there's just not a good link two to go into for rockets, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah. Uh, right next to it, we see BLS and. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Look at those hits. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's that's terrifying. So. Uh, Makes me happy. Makes me smile. Yeah. So that is that is three separate limit threes. And three separate limit ones now. So this deck has been completely destroyed. Good. This reminds me this reminds me of what happened to Mech Knights over four months, but in one ban list. This reminds me of what 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 a DDD deck list looked after the ban list. It yeah. has so many limits. They did they did limit a lot of cards for Triple D. Um but uh, now we can finally move forward, and I don't know. Um, I don't know what BLS is going to look like after this. Like you could play the way that it's intended to be played with the like the envoys and and super soldier synthesis, but you're going to brick a ton. Um, you can you can get rid of Endymion and just run even more back row, which. That would be the worst result, is if they if they decide, okay, well, now we don't have any reason to normal summon at all, so let's just put more traps in here. Uh, just just replace the crackdowns with um, Paleozoic Canadia, and replace the Endymions with probably um, either MST, Cosmic Cyclone, or Forbidden Lance. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know. I feel like I hope I'm hoping that the skill gets changed as well. I don't I don't even know that this will fix the problem. I don't know enough of this deck to say anything. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, again, Dorcas, uh let's see. So they were running three harp horrors. Okay, you know, uh, you know what? Fair. I thought that I thought that Gandorcus was running um, scrap recycling. So that's that's my fault. So, okay, so you get cut down to maybe like two harp horrors and one nightmare, or maybe two nightmares and one harp horror, and you just search the harp horror off of uh, Gyrgyzand X. Um, it will definitely make the high roll potential of Gandorcus worse. Because the amount of times that I've seen a Gandorcus player summon two Gandoras in the same turn, because they searched one and just had the other one, is ridiculous. Um, so if they make the rest of the deck less consistent, then Gandora will probably win the game less often. Uh, but really, like this skill just needs to get completely changed, because this is ridiculous. That is true. I also think that's why they hit the final Orcus card. They they just want it out the meta. They just want it gone. Just done for. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Triple D made it to top ten. That's cool. I that's didn't know good that. Let's see. And here we go to Odd Eyes. Okay. So <laughs> Odd Eyes completely untouched. This is what we're. This is your future, gentlemen. Uh, this is this is your past, your present, and your future. Uh, your new meta overlords. Oh my god. Um, what are we on now? Six months? This came out in, what, May? Yeah, so six months of Odd Eyes just, just wrecking everything. Um, the worst part is the um, the Arc 5 level increase is coming at some point. We'll get a third copy of Skulker Bat Joker. Um, maybe, they'll, maybe they'll limit Skulker Bat Joker to three <laughs> to try and deal with that. Oh well, um, yeah. So hopefully, with the skill changes, we get some uh, adjustments to Raging Pendulum and Rockets and Trick Stars because those three decks have been around for too long and need to stop. What was Trick Star representation? Let's see. Trick Stars was only two point two percent. Okay, maybe Trick Stars can get away with, you know. Yeah, not, they're gonna get away. Yeah, but but Rockets, Odd Eyes, and. Probably Gandora just need to get shot. I don't know what, I, what I'm going to say. If they don't get hit, I don't... Uh. Alright, Jamie, do me a favor. Pull up a Cyber Dragon Deckless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, let me see if I can find one. Um, <laughs> Cybers, is that what you wanted? <laughs> uh, Close enough. Let's... Oh, there it is. Right there. Squirrel up. Right, right. there. Not one Deckless. Oh my god. <laughs> And it's hit! And it's hit! <laughs> oh, that's pretty oh. spicy, though. That's spicy. It, this is I not spicy. I played this. This was garbage. The consistency was trash. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, I, I like the notes. What? Look at the notes. <laughs> when cyber dragons have a goal in mind, they go after it with single-minded, almost robotic determination. Instead of making friends with other dragons, cyber dragons assimilate their neighbors into their plans in pursuit of their ultimate agenda. Oh my god. No. Whoever whoever wrote that needs a raise because holy crap. Okay. This guy's got a base. Oh look at his name. Scooby and Snacks. Okay, so, <laughs> so Scooby and Snacks hit King of Games in November, November eighth, with Cyber Dragons. So Kevin can stop crying. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of base, though, that list. And and it got hit, so you can't even play it anymore. <laughs> Look, he's, he's running Overflow, though. See? Overflow. Overflow. Being... Let's go. Overflow being limited to two didn't stop him. Let's see. Okay. No, no. Look, there's there's four limit threes in there. You got to remove one of them now. Yeah, you just take out one hard four, and then Scrap Recycler keeps, keeps on trucking. Um, Yo, let's... there's more Gradius tops than there are. Like <laughs> there, oh, yeah. That's true. There are two Gradius tops. Wait, really? I cannot believe I would ever have seen this. 
<laughs> yes. It's the most go. amazing thing ever. But they have more war rocks than cyber dragons. Okay, okay, that's more utopia than anything. You but, can't really yes. call this gradient. No, it has three gradients, sir. It uses, sir. Gradius it uses, three unexpected, it uses die. unexpected die with gradients. <laughs> okay, that's that's kind of base. That's kind of base. <laughs> oh no! Wait, hold on. Oh, it's the same deck. It's the same deck. It's yeah. Uh, he, okay. It's just it's it's him topping. It's him on a win streak, and then he had King of Games. Look at his name, the Yamcha Arnold. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, hold on. Uh, no, no, no way. Okay. Yeah. All right, I was about to say, there's no way someone hit King of Games. It's just it's just a win streak. Oh, okay. Oh. Those always excite me, and then it's like, oh wait, just win streak, okay. Yep, let's see. I sleep. Um. Uh, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Here. Imagine, imagine posting that you that you got a win streak with Watts. <laughs> imagine, imagine taking credit for that and putting your name on it. <laughs> what is the deck we, though? I need to know. We're making out there. casual duels with this one. King of Games. Oh, 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 it's with this. <laughs> Oh, it's this shitty. <laughs> I, that's what I was saying. That. That's what I was saying. Why would you ever admit to doing this? <laughs> that's gross. Oh. <laughs> Reporting. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's too bad. I thought we were gonna see something spicy. No. No, ah! this is the deck that ruins casual ladder. <laughs> Just well, I, thought was casual. I didn't think he actually hit King of Games. Uh, he hit King of Games on November 16th. He, this man hit King of Games the same day that I did. <laughs> what's that? Uh, what's the last trap card? Oh, uh, Luminize? Bro, that's Luminize, bro. That card is so trash. <laughs> so oh, when I'm... When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, you negate the attack, and then a light monster you control gains attack equal to that target's attack until your next end phase. It's intended to be used in Galaxy Eyes, but it's used in Watt because Watt can attack directly. Tight. Yep. <laughs> Lucky Iron Axe. <laughs> <laughs> not, even, not even like the... Uh... The thousand attack axe. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's just it's just lucky iron axe because it draws you a card. That's, that's how he cogged. Yeah. That's how he cogged. Um, <laughs> there's the more chronomaly cogs. No, no. Chronomaly, chronomaly was tier three earlier this year. Chronomaly was a good deck. Chronomaly is a good deck. Let's see. Hold on. Resonators. Um, Arch. So Arch Dragon's got to nah. pack it up. Cyber Dragons got to pack it up. Let's see. Is Joel Cyber right? Dragons are about to migrate out of Duel Links. <laughs> <laughs> Konami's going to release Cyber Dragons in Rush, and they're going to limit them 100%. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, watch as Cyber Dragons are more free in Rush duels than regular. Oh, uh, man. Wait, so how, how do boxes work now? So we get one speed duel month, and then the next month it's Rush? Yep. Yeah. I guess. Like no, that. that's so cringe. I have to wait excess of two months now for Cyber Dragon support. <laughs> no, because there could be Cyber Dragon support for Rush. <laughs> not this early. No, not this early, you're right. They would be OP. Oh, Imagine oh. if Cyber Dragons had some of their Adam Rush man? cards, though. Hey, someone popped up with Fire Key before the support. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That was Master of Rights level duplication. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a great skill. <laughs> so you can so you can summon yeah. Elan with just oh one tribute. That's amazing. That's nice. Oh, that's Fire great. got support before Cyber Dragons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, again, I like. Uh, uh, Kevin, have you seen the new Charmer skill? No. Okay. Bro. So. <laughs> Okay, so what is this deck? What the? F <laughs> what am I looking at? Okay, hold on. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. Okay, so they released what's called a um, an archive skill. Archive skills can be used by literally anyone, and um, it's called Awakening of the Charmers. Reveal a charmer or a familiar possessed and return one card from your hand to your deck. It doesn't have to be the card you revealed to set one Awakening of the Possessed from outside your deck. And Awakening of the Possessed lets you um, 
Uh, whenever you summon a, a familiar possessed card, you draw a card. So, um, and then all of your uh, monsters gain 300 attack for each attribute you control. So, you play Spirit Charmers, which makes you discard a card to draw two. And any time that there's a discard these days, you just play Orcus <laughs> so you can discard Orcus. Bro, back when Crystrons had that, uh, the the Crystal Beat skill. Yeah. Shout out to my my boy Chrome. Mm-hmm. Hey, could not be really killing Charmers with this one. Uh, this is this is funny. Uh, let's see. Um, got Live Twins. Got Blue Eyes. Li- oh, Live Twins! Is, Live Twins has been declared tier two. Let's see. They're switching from yeah. Legend of the Heroes to Draw since high level. Yeah, because. They they should have kept Legend of the Heroes who specifically uh yeah specifically what to the like specifically like the 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 the, the what you may call decks the link decks that like are relevant to it like uh, Mech Knights and oh the World uh, Legacy decks yeah the World Legacy that's it yep those kinds of decks nah man nah it's fine Mech uh, Afrobax doesn't care. <laughs> Abramax <laughs> should not be so generic. <laughs> not yet. Uh, oh, uh, so, okay, yeah, so, Kevin, uh, this is the Legend of the Heroes, which is, if the total link rating of the monsters on your field is three or more, you gain 2,000 life points, and then on turn five and onward, you can return four link monsters from your graveyard to your extra deck, and then you get to add Mech Knight Crusadia Abramax to your extra deck. That's just a busted skill. <laughs> like, what is going to have me doing? No, 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 it's yeah. fine. It's turn five and onwards. So three turns of so so four turns of RA passed. And if they if you can't win, then you get you get Abermaxed. And so also Konami is just like tacitly admitting that four thousand life points is not enough anymore. That's true. So, like, they are giving that. so many skills those life points. Just bump it up to six thousand at this point. That's true. Yeah, no, I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what you do is you um, you summon a live twin, you summon the other live twin, then you link into Kiss a Kill, you revive one of the live twins, you link the Kiss a Kill and the live twin into Lila, then you use Lila to revive Kiss a Kill, now you have both link monsters on the field, you draw one card, because Kiss a Kill's effect activates, and you gain 2,000 life points with the skill, then you link them both into just a Kiss a Kill, and then you have uh, kiss kill and Lila in your graveyard, and you can revive Lila to with your other kiss kill to get a pop. But you're also like going through your extra deck, getting monsters in your graveyard so that you can set up for the Avermax later. You set Ballista Squad because Ballista Squad lets you tribute a monster to destroy uh, to destroy one card your opponent controls. So after you revive Lila to pop a card, then you play Ballista Squad, tribute the kiss kill to pop another card. Then Lila can revive kiss kill, so you get to draw another card during your opponent's turn. So you just cycle through every every time. And then they also have Evil Twin Present, which is uh, one of Duke's favorite cards, because it lets you uh, permanently swap control of two monsters. You know it. And this is the this is the live twin deck. I have to I have to finish building it because I, I only have two Lilas and one Kiss Kill so far, but I am hyped. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And I can't believe how good the deck is with just these two cards. We, we're we're going to get more starters later with the uh, with the other two main deck monsters. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy isn't even using um, the, the boss monster. That's sad. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about all we can say. Uh, so that's the ban list. Um, uh... If we look at the actual, hold on, let's, let's, we, if we go, there is like an actual, like, the ban list itself. Hold on. Here's the full ban list. So the full ban list, we have, uh, all these powerhouses, limited one, and then we also have Perform Pal, Fire Flux, and Sphere Creighton. Um, yeah, Gem Knight, Gem Knight FTK. Yeah, well, that's, that's, a, that's a powerhouse. Gem Knight FTK is a powerhouse. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just funny seeing that. Um, Memories. Um, let's see. We got Mind Wipe. We got... Well, okay, can really... we... Does Bamboo... <laughs> do Bamboo Sports really s- still belong on the ban list? It's a pot of greed. It requires so much setup. 
dude, it's bottom three. Okay, okay. Hey, you know what they should, so much setup. They should starting... take Inferno Launcher off the list. They should. Inferno Launcher should could definitely come off the list. They also the reason why they didn't unlimit Monster Reborn is because they don't want Champions of Vigilance to be played in this new Blue Eyes skin. <laughs> Which is really sad because I'm over here waiting. I am waiting to bust Champions Vigilance out on some people. Yeah, that used to be so OP. <laughs> um, <laughs> Needlebug Nest is still limit one. Imagine, Dude. imagine Konami thinking that a trap card that mills you five is broken. Just play Dice it at that point. Yep. Um, let's see. Konami thinks your new is gonna pop back off. Uh, speaking of other cards that, that are still on the list, okay, so here's the limit. Cyber list. Dragon. Uh, yeah, we do have Cyber Dragons, but here's we're gonna make we're gonna make Kevin feel better. Megaroid City is still limited. <laughs> Remember when we when roids were better because we're using them as an engine. Uh, are still there. To be fair, this does not make me feel better because <laughs> the character who plays Cyber Dragons is brother plays roids so they are inherently connected i didn't even know you cared yeah. about the anime <laughs> i mean then he kicked his brother's ass of course him to wear bdsm gear but you know that's an entirely different situation all right we have and then his brother got crippled we have pulse minds we have a machine card pulse doesn't mind. make you feel better <laughs> why is pulse mind still on there oh well you know pulse minds is like book of moon but it's uh but it requires machines, so you know. Obviously, we need to limit this when Book of Moon is allowed. To yeah, be allowed. it's exactly like Big Book of Moon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it's it was used in the first episode of Arc Five. Was or it not Arc Five? Brains. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was used to show Rains. off Link summoning. Hmm. Um, we got Charge the Light Brigade, um, and then also the other Cup of Ace, which I kind of want to stay it on because that deck. Could still come back if they found a small enough engine to use it. Yep, and we have How Life Barrier and Rainbow Life, which are both like they're limited to, so that you can't play both of them. Um, yeah, and they're kind of toxic stall strategy cards. So but Digital know. Bug Rhinos of Us is still limited. Yeah, the that card should have been off. That card should have been off. Automots abusing the hell out of that <laughs> card, though. Yeah, but Automots can't play it anymore. True. Bro, right. been years. Write it off. Uh, shout out to Extra Shoddy who plays this in Hazy Flame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Concentrating Current is still on the list. Concentrating Current Limited because of Invoked, and then they took Invoked off the list and forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> is Invoked completely unbanned at this point? Invoked is completely unbanned. They're, they're, look, at, look at this Limit 2 list. Do you see anything that conflicts with Concentrating Current? No. Uh, meanwhile, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, some, for some reason, on there, <laughs> like... A uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow was Limit 1 for a while. Why? It was, it was released as Limit 1, then they put it to Limit 2. <laughs> Why is it just unlimited? <laughs> well, they don't want you to play it with Kiteroid. Oh, oh no, oh no, they're gonna stop my attacks, but I can just pop their freaking card in the main phase. We also have Silent Sword Slash. Now, admittedly, Silent Sword Slash is a quick effect. Makes your opponent uh, makes your card unaffected. So, and it can't be negated. So this card is pretty powerful. But it's for such a limited, unique case. It was originally limited because of a degenerate OTK that's not really too degenerate anymore, and yeah. probably wouldn't be used. Yep. Uh, the Sanctified Dark Lord and Dark Lord Contract are still both limit to. Okay, they did I still have PTSD from Dark Lord. So they good. did yes. no, they did they did buff Dark Lords. They put um they put Ixchel to one so that you could play Ixchel uh with uh Sanctified Dark Lord. Yeah, Dark but Lord like f fuck Dark Lords. Yeah. Back when they added a gate that gave them a crap ton of life points. Oh, I almost I era. almost lost the game. Uh Kevin, you, you watched my um you watched my Blue Eyes Chaos Max video, right? Yes. So I almost lost the game uh playing Blue Eyes because Sanctified Dark Lord doesn't target. So Good. it negates the effects of one effect Oscar. They negated my Chaos Max, gained five thousand life points, and then destroyed it with uh Chaos Dragon Leviathan. 
But I still won. I mean, he kind of deserve it for playing Blue Eyes. Excuse me, eye. Blue Eyes is based, sir. Uh, Blue, Eyes is, Blue Eyes is sexy based. Yo, speaking of, Red Eyes needs a Chaos Max variant, because Dark no. Magician has one, and Blue Eyes has one. Red Eyes has, uh, oh. Red Eyes, Red Eyes doesn't have any light monsters, though. No, but what, what do you mean? So it's a Chaos. It's the reason why, so Chaos is like dark and light. So there are... Make a dark fucking red eyes. They they turned the red eyes into a light monster. That's what they did with the dark magician and the blue eyes. Uh, chaos Max is a dark, and the chaos dark magician is a light. It's not. No. Why can't you just make this red eyes both dark and light? Yeah. Magician, of, magician of chaos is dark. Ah. Okay. So just keep it dark then. All right. Let's see. Limit threes. Tour guide from the underworld. That's and, pretty and be strong. Is. Yeah, limit <clears throat> the limit threes are all are this this is the list that Konami keeps updated. So these cards are all actually deserved to be on here, except transmodified. Yeah. <laughs> Debatable, yeah. Uh Floodgate Trap Hole. Shout out to Floodgate Trap Hole for still being limit three. I okay. I'm fine with it being on there though. No It's so toxic. What? Why? It is, because you can't ever use that card again. You basically have a dead slot on your field. You can you can uh, use it as fusion material. <laughs> oh man, yeah, my uh, my black wings will get right out that. <laughs> uh, okay, we have yeah, we that, have that's a skill issue. That's a skill issue. Just contact fuse, bro. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Nightmare Corruptor yeah. Ibley is still on the list. I mean, he's underage. I, I can't mind. say. That. Nightmare Corruptor Ibley deserves to be off the list. I might. I don't know about that. It's pretty toxic. Yeah, but it's... you can't say anything. Uh, it's... Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Skill Prisoner is on the list. Still... Deserves to be off the list. Why is it still on there? I agree. Yeah. Target one card you control this turn when any monster resol effects resolves that targets that card activation and gate that effect. Yeah, this is yeah. This is a this is a definitely a weird card. It should definitely be off the list. Also, <laughs> perform a pal pinch <laughs> Uh They really well, they wasn't that a preemptive nerf? It was. It was before it even came out. Yeah, they they yeah. really really hate stall. It's so funny. Uh, oh shout shout out to shout out to Prodigy Battle in Boxer Veil is still level oh. three. <laughs> and. They they're out here they're out here giving everyone two thousand extra life points because we can't take four thousand life points and then they're saying oh Vale should still be here <laughs> bro just give us six thousand life points and then like take off all these fucking things yep. uh, take that off all the skills uh speedroid try I dice is limit three uh shout out to me for for playing this uh. Absolute trash card when Speed Boys was nerfed. I did. I did get King of Games with this card, by the way. Nice. Did you also face. get brain cancer from it? It was. <laughs> it was a card that no one played around. <laughs> so I'll take that as a yes. So just so you guys know, this card has the ability to banish it from the graveyard to negate the next attack that an opponent makes this turn. So what you would do with it is you would summon Speedroid Horse Stilts. Which special summons a tuner monster or a speed rope from your hand. You special summon Tri Eye Dice. That is a four and a three, so you go into Clear Bank, make your normal plays. Um, and then you would have a, a battle trap during your opponent's turn, which uh, was okay. It was not good, but uh, it's the thing about uh, monster effects in the graveyard and in the hand is that they can't be MST'd, which means that your opponent bricks more often. So, <laughs> You know what? This card reminds me of Electromagnetic Turtle. And it, it, we it, need that card in the links. It is electromagnetic turtle, basically. Um, Shout out to my boy uh, Mech Knight for or the the actual Mech Knight uh, dude uh, for you know Crusadia. Oh, Avermech. Crusadia is based, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, just Crusadia in general. Okay. Um, they released Alter Guys Meloseek at three. Yeah. Yeah. It deserves it. Yeah. Uh, Alter Guys can be a very stally deck. It can. Um, let's see. They didn't want Fuck to give them Michigan. access to like Lost Wind and Crackdown and all that other stuff. So yeah, this is a. Uh, you know what? You know what? 
we take a look at this. We take a look at this this nice field right here of all these powerful cards, and there's not a single Cyro Dragon card here. So I say Cyro Dragons gets a win. I say <laughs> video's <Good> over. <laughs> <laughs> video's over.